Hey friends, surprise! We're actually home <laughs> and live telling you to take your collagen. It's been a while since we've done a normal collagen time. It's been over a week. Last Wednesday, do we even do a normal one last Wednesday? I think so. I probably, because we were talking about packing and you were probably giving me a hard time about packing, which I did not stay up to 2 oh, a.m. You did good. I did not stay up to 2 a.m. packing and I did really well. Yeah. You did, did great. I, I did great. And our package, like our package, our suitcase, my suitcase, was under 50 pounds, like always. I hit that 49 and a half, like right at the dot. Yep. Even with all my boots that I brought. Yeah. But you didn't even it get to wear nice. them all. Yes, I did. Did you? Okay, good. Yes, wore all of them. One pair you shouldn't have brought them. One pair hated, only be, yeah, because I had to go walk on concrete. <sighs> We're not going to talk about it. We're just not going to talk about we it. We sure talked about it that night. Whew. I'm not going to talk about it again. Okay. We did talk about it then. Now that's over and those shoes are gone. Yeah. And I'm never wearing them again. Partly shoes fault, partly Josh's fault. And that's it. We're just going to move on. The rest of our trip was really awesome. Happy Friday night. Yeah. Happy it's Friday. It's an awesome spring day. Six, what, about uh, 60 was high, I think. It's Maybe really weird. Yeah. It's about 38 out there right now. We left and it was 80. And we got there and it was 40s and 30s. And then come home and there's a cold front. It's really weird. Stupid. My sinuses are so messed up. From here to the dryness of Utah to back home and all of this stuff in the air. I don't know. It's been kind of crazy. Yeah. Utah I've, messed I've you developed up. allergies that I have not had like my whole life. It's really weird. It messed you up. I did get to wear my cowboy hat, but yeah. I had to go alone. I know. I didn't get to go to Western Night. It was so sad. She was messed up. I was having a really, really bad day. So we got there Thursday and Friday. I made it halfway through the day and then I could not do anymore. And I was really sick. And um, the elevation there is really different. Plus the, the air is so dry. It's so, so, so dry. It's different, kind of cold and not what we're used to. And it just- you have to drink a lot of water. Yes. You do. And I thought I drank a lot of water, but apparently I wasn't drinking enough. Stop cat it. cat is trying to Stop eat everything. it. We're back to normal now, Percy. Yep. We got a new, we got a new light here. We got a new light thing stand. Whole new setup. I'm trying to figure that out. Anyway, so Friday night was rough and like I didn't get to go to the Western party and I slept and um, just tried to take care of myself and so I could be there for the next day because Saturday was the big day. But I went without her and it was he fun. Did. He was he had a great time and he went and represented for both of us, so he did good. And he looked really good in his cowboy stuff. Did you doubt? I didn't doubt it. I'm gonna move this wire. But it was kind of strange because I'm not cat. used to seeing you in Can't cowboy attire. I got yeah. a lot of compliments. You did? Yeah. And many people there are extremely surprised that that would not be a normal thing for us. Yeah, even Bree was like, I feel like this is normal, but it's not, right? I'm not like, normal. no, not normal. <laughs> um, Bree is our really good friend and our mentor, and she lives in um, Dallas area, so, like, she's from here, you know? But they do, they go to concerts. Yeah, they, they go to, like, all they kind of, con like, country concerts and stuff like that. We just, I don't know, we live in a different kind of, well, I wouldn't say a different kind of area. It just hasn't ever been our preference, really. I mean, we like some old stuff. We went to some country I concerts. I like new stuff. I yeah. love Chris Stapleton. I love him. He's great. We saw, um, um, I did do we like go see at the rodeo stuff. when we were almost dating? We saw dating? Guns and Roses. Yeah, but like, we were almost oh. dating and we went to Jeez, now that you're Texas Tornado guy. 25, 26. Tracy Lawrence, I think. Years ago. Yeah, Tracy That's Lawrence. Awesome. We saw that guy at yeah. a concert. With some other country guy who wasn't big yet, but then made it big later. I don't remember. I was like 17 or 16. Best night remember. of your life. Percy, shut up and stop shaking the stand. You're going to mess it up. Anyway, yes, it was a really good night. Thank you for taking me to the Houston Radio. Cat. The, the cat is moving the tripod he's around. He's moving the tripod. <laughs> he's fat. No, he's actually not the fat one. He's the skinny one. The fat one was too lazy to get up and come in here. Anyway. anyway. So yeah. we had a really great time. It's all our friends, community, awesomeness. Got to walk on stage. It was really cool. Um, super nerve wracking for people to be watching you. Like, I learned something. Like all over the place. I learned Crazy. Utah is expensive. Everything's expensive. Like Salt Lake babe. City's expensive. I don't, <laughs> I don't get it. 
Because it's not like... I no, everything is expensive. The food, even McDonald's costs more there than here. It I don't weird. think so. I think it's been a really long time since you've been to McDonald's. Well, to know that it's expensive here, too. It ain't cheap at well, all. Well, I didn't eat the crap stuff. I just ate meat. I know. But. So he's on this carnivore thing, so he eats just like meat. Just tons and tons of meat. So if we had to do something and go necessarily to dinner that really didn't fit our needs as a gluten-free person or as, you know, him doing this carnivore thing, then, like, he Everywhere would get other meat. burgers. Everything fits you know, my needs. Whatever. I'm just saying. And so he's like, God, everything's so expensive. I'm like, everything is expensive. It's <laughs> stupid. Even when we went to Austin when we got home, it's expensive. Everything is. Nothing's yeah. cheap. Nothing is cheap. Anyway. Anyways. So... We did that awesome amazingness. Utah was great. Saw a lot of friends and it was just really wonderful to community is so important to me and it's like something I thrive on. Those are trophies. Um they're not they're in, in here. The room. We got the Ruby Walk. Yeah, we got to walk across stage and have everybody stare at us, which is really weird. We went on stage for the Lift Awards. Like, we did not yeah. uh win, but we got recognition. We were in top five yeah. out of bunches of people. Um, Lyft is the community events that we do, and they recognize the company. Um, it's very highly promoted in the company to do community events, and yeah. we love that. It's part of the passion of this business with me. It's not just about you know helping people with products or finances. It's the community work that we do yeah. um, because we truly want to serve others in all ways that we can. So it was really nice to be recognized for that. I mean, it's not something that you... You know, I mean, we don't blast don't it on our pages because it's yeah. not about us, but it was pretty cool to get recognized yeah. for it. It's, our t it's a team effort anyway. It is. And um, there were five, there's five people that were like nominated for the award. So that was just really cool to be recognized for just doing what we would normally do. I mean, mm -hmm. that's just become a very big passion. Um, we've always done things like that, but it's just, you know, now it's a little more, I don't know. We have more time in our life, I guess. With our kids being older and stuff and just making it more important and more intentional to give back to our community. But, um, yeah, to be recognized for it was a really nice surprise and um, it was pretty cool. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just an honor to be up there. Like, it, it doesn't good. even we, matter. It was it was great. It was really good to see all of our friends from base camp and good to see the all owners and all of our friends we met last year and friends we, made, we met in uh We Tulum. met new friends from the we UK. Did. Oh, my gosh. Yes. That was really cool. I love listening to people from England. <laughs> yeah, actually, These it was British funny women because are, like, so cute. I British. went and talked to them um, at breakfast. She doesn't eat breakfast. I was downstairs yeah. eating breakfast, and I saw them sitting over there, and I actually thought they were from Canada because <laughs> yeah. I didn't know who they were. Well, I didn't so, know we were going to have any UK well, represent. Come one over. of them, yeah. um, Becky, had a base camp shirt on, so I knew they were Trinot women. Yeah. So I just went over there and introduced myself, and they started talking. I was like, oh. They're so Not Canadian. Cute. very sweet, <laughs> and um, yeah, and I was like, oh my gosh, I could sit here and listen to you forever, because you're just, you know, it was just, I don't know. I really want to go to the UK. I've never gone, obviously, anywhere. Tulum was our, like, first trip that I ever took out of the country, so one day, it's on my vision board that I want to go over and, like, go and do the whole thing, you know? Just kind of go everywhere. We yeah. have so much time to do that, so... I'm right. dreaming for later, you know, of when we have more time and actual money and keep building and doing, you know, you got to put your dreams out there. If you don't do it and you don't actually say them and you don't think it and you don't put it out there, then when are you ever going to do it? Right. So you got to make them want you like I'm, Craig said. Yeah. So I'm all about talking about that, manifesting, putting all the positive vibes out in the world, you know, all that. Yeah. Yeah. So then... That was five days, and then um, coming home, leaving exactly, and leaving the very next morning because it was our daughter's spring break. So we went to Austin for a couple of days, which was very fun. I could have had way more fun with that challenge, but I think Kenzie would have been embarrassed, and I might have been a little bit embarrassed to wear some of the things that we were seeing. We went to all these vintage shops, and it is true vintage it was so cool i absolutely loved yeah. it and they like even label like the shirts authentic. like with the years and stuff so yeah. you know when you know really some cool. of the stores were like separated with the year the decades and that was really cool but oh my gosh 80s and 90s fashion is everywhere with children right now like our teenage kids and stuff that is the thing and it's it's everywhere and it's like you see in the malls and stuff but like to go to the vintage store and actually see Things I wore, like who remembers wearing Jordache jeans? 
they don't, they're not even not around really. anymore. Like the those. company's not even around, I don't think. But they had like a couple of pairs of Jordache jeans that look exactly like what I wore as a kid. But you know, I didn't see any so Cavaricis. I didn't see I any did. Javos. You, you saw those? Them. I didn't yeah. see any Skids. Yeah. I did see some Jams. Mm -hmm. There's Cavaricis that were in that last fancy store. It was kind of expensive, but it was cool. And they had a lot of things like separated. And yeah, it was like Jordache, yeah. Jordache, so, Jordache. And then they had some Cavarici. You know the jeans we're talking about? They have the pleats in them and everything. And they have like, I don't know why, but they kind of like come down. There's a picture a on the shape. wall. You know, it's cool. Back then was oh. cool. <laughs> it was cool back then. Yeah. But it was just neat. Seeing a lot of stuff that I actually wore or watched as an 80s child myself. Like I have older, you know, sisters. So seeing things that she wore and I'm like looking at it going, oh my gosh, my sister wore this or my mom wore this or... You know, they even had stuff in like the 60s and the 50s, and that was really neat. But there's all kinds of cool stuff. Austin is such a neat, very weird area. <laughs> it's a, like a place of its own that's like nothing else. So let me tell you. It's fun. If it has thrift in the name in Austin, it's a good store. Yes. If it doesn't have thrift, but it's some sort of thrift shop, it's a good store. But if it says vintage. Yeah. You're going to be paying a high dollar. It is expensive. It's good stuff, though. It's it is authentic. really cool. It is, but... Yeah. Ew. I don't know. Like, like a pair of Wranglers... Yeah. From, like, 501 Buttonflies in my size are like... I mean, I could go to the buckle and get two pairs of jeans for the but price they that were I'm asking like for these. From the 70s. Or from Those the were 80s. Levi's. Yeah, they like had Wranglers, was... too. I, I said Wranglers, but I meant the Levi's. Like the 501s, the Buttonflies. <laughs> yeah. I don't wear those. I never have... But, weird. but they were like really Sweet. authentic. Also, what? Oh gosh. What? Look, if you're into all these kind of clothes and you wear these kind of clothes, that's cool. I have nothing against you. What are you about to say? But if you want to see some very eclectic people. Oh yeah, for sure. Some very different people. Yeah. The name. If you like to people watch, go park yourself on the <laughs> North Loop, in front that of room would, service or in front of uh, Big Bertha's, and just sit there. So it's it's better than the airport. Is. There are some very interesting people. I'm the motto of Austin is keep it weird. So I mean, except for that one shop said keep Austin kinky, but we won't talk yeah, about we that. Won't, we, we didn't go. We in didn't there. go to that. Our daughter shop. was with us, and I, I wouldn't have gone there. Anyway. I would have no. But it was in between a bunch of used vintage. No. Oh well, that's weird. Now that, you made it weird. Mm -hmm, no. Mm -mm. Anyway. So anyway, no, wouldn't have gone there. But um, yeah, keep it weird. For sure, but it's interesting, and there's so much more. Like, if we have more time to just, you know, do whatever. The music there, the culture there, the art there. There's a lot of things we haven't been in a really so long time. It was South by Southwest too, right now in Austin. So yeah, it was. What's that mean? That's the concert. That's oh, the concert. Okay. Music. Oh yeah, the music. It's a free that music there. festival yeah. that Austin hosts every year. I did not know about this. I wish I would have known about it, but I didn't know about that until we got there. You're not connected. I'm not. No. It's I'm been going on forever, but it's okay. I mean, we rarely go to a concert or do anything like that. So it's That's just not true. Like... We just went to a concert. And before that, how long it had been? I can't help it if you don't ever want to go anywhere. I'm sorry. I'll tr I'm trying. I'm going to start going without you. I'm trying. It's, it's, it's getting better. I'm just going to buy tickets, and then if you don't want to go, I'll get somebody to go with me. Okay. Okay. I'm going to do that. I like chill. That's the problem. See, I love when we went to Jefferson... Um, theater. Theater, because it's just, it's a sit down. Mm -hmm. All right. One, really enjoy that. And nobody's screaming, nobody's throwing crap, and there's not liquor flying across the room, or beers being broken, it's no or fun people at all. getting in fights. It's very boring. It is the chill that I enjoy. Right. Good the music, boring. calm, the boring. chill. It's yeah. not boring. You had a great time. Oh, it was a great concert. But it's, just, it's, it's not boring. I don't want all the other crap. I just want to listen to good music. Right. Just, yeah. Chill. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm How many concerts have we gone to where people spilt their liquor and alcohol or tripped over me or whatever? I mean, well, like, when we were young. Sometimes it's the people singing doing that. Well, he was having some issues. <laughs> <that night. laughs> we're not going to say his name. We nope, don't want to get, we nope. don't want to get the, the put in a corner the by the book, book of faces. faces. It's not anyway. friendly with some of that stuff. Okay. So, um, yeah, we're back. Yay. Back here doing us and our thing and. Spreading the word of health and wellness, and yeah, and and that includes your finances. So what time is it? It is college in time. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Out of practice.
<laughs> Got it. Hey, Adrian. Hey, Adrian. Oh, look, we're going to use the... Okay. What? We have no room left in this house for shot glasses. Shot glasses are small. We have no room for them anymore. There's no extra cabinet space in the entire house, not even in the bathrooms, for shot glasses. Yes, there is. But we buy them anyway. We have room if we put them in the bathroom. So now we have what Salt I Lake need, City, Utah shot glasses. I need a shot glass shelf to put in here. A cabinet. You need an need entire, like, a lot. wall. Yeah. Not a shelf. Because they don't actually stack well if you try to put them in the kitchen cabinets, you know. I have a problem. And... I like to get them wherever we go. And, and that it's means not because she drinks a lot be, of tequila, because no, she doesn't. it's just for collagen time. Yeah. So this one, just is cute, you know, just a regular little Salt Lake City one. And then his, like, has, like, the whole city of, like, the little map. It's really neat. The whole city of, like, the little map. I'm not sure what, I think she meant a map of the city. Do you have to correct me all okay, the time? let's go. At least I'm not mad at you for stuff you ain't done yet. Tanya's yeah. taking hers now. Pina hey, colada. Yeah, pina colada. Hi, Tanya. It's the best. Um, uh, mm -hmm. So, anyway. Yep, yeah, all that. Um, my eyes are starting to water. I'm telling y'all. Yeah, something's wrong with this one. <sighs> Sinuses. Anyway, I need to get a cabinet. Not a cabinet, or shelves, whatever, to display, like, all of our shot glasses because I, I have one. learned that travel is my love language and we will be getting way more shot glasses. I had one, like remember? every place that we go. I had one that held all my shot glasses because I had a shot glass collection, which I still have somewhere in a somewhere. box somewhere. Because I got a shot glass everywhere that. we went. Yeah. So I had a rack, like a cabinet, and it so had little individual slots you could stick them in. A couple dozen somewhere else. We need to get up. one, we can put it right here. On this, right here between well, the stuff. My, that's like our product shelf. And then I have some notes and work stuff up there. But. Well, we can put something somewhere over here or whatever. I we need a, we need a part trophies over here. I thought, no, I thought we were going to put them in the window. Over there? Yeah. I don't like to see that. Up on the window. No, but they're beautiful. Maybe tomorrow we'll come show you. We'll make sure to bring it in here and show you. They're heavy. We have to, Amanda, so I'm going to have to hold them for her. Okay, they gave it to us really early and while you're waiting for them to announce for everybody to go walk because there's a lot of people who had Ruby. So they're, you're sitting there and you're holding it for a really long time. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is really heavy. <laughs> like it can majorly do workouts with this. I don't know how how heavy it is. It's pretty oh. heavy. For the, It's crystal. And I oh, didn't wait, know that. Away one. And no one told us like, hey, these are going to be heavy, you know. Oh yeah, sh to, security to doesn't like them. For that. Yeah, we Salt back. Lake City security does not like them. We had a carry-on. We had to go buy an extra bag for carry-on to put it in because it would have outweighed our luggage for his luggage anyway. So we put one in the luggage, right? And yes. one on the carry-on. Anyway, it was weird. And then it took a while for security. Just wanted to check all the stuff, you know. I said the x-ray machine can't see through it because it's too thick. Yeah, and it's, and I, honestly, I, I'm glad they did that. And it is a security thing. It's like this. And it's just a big rectangle, and it is solid. Well, so it's if they couldn't see that, I could understand how that might be threatening. So, it doesn't make sense because there's some pretty thick people, myself included, that go through the X-ray machine, and they can't see through that little piece of glass. That it's wasn't weird. a piece of glass. It's a very thick crystal. It's huge. It's a. It's like that. I'm just saying. And it's very tall. And it's, I'm just saying. Whatever. I don't anyway, know. Anyway, they need new equipment, maybe. So, that's going to keep happening, so we're going to have to find a place for that. I was thinking put it up there because it's pretty stable up there. It's, you know, even if they're heavy. If we start doing, like, a wall or something. They're not that heavy. They're oh, heavy with all you, the ones we're yeah. going to get, you mean? Yeah, then yeah. we need some structural Because we didn't stop sound. in where we're at at Ruby. We're going to keep going. Yeah, you're right. Keep building. <clears throat> so, I mean, like, what are we going to do with We're going to have to move. Yeah. Okay. It's on, it's on my dream board. It's on your dream board? It's on my dream board. Where are we moving to? Are we buying a ranch? He just doesn't know it. I ain't moving around the corner. If we move, we're moving. Mm, we'll see. Okay. okay, cool. I don't know. It depends. We got a couple of things to think about. Unless we live on the water. We can move around the corner and live on the water. I don't want to live on the water. Boat's already in the water? I'm close enough to the water. I don't need to be more near the water. For a person who lives surrounded by water and, and, and it's marsh... I'm terrified of gators. Do we get acreage in a pond? And snakes. And acreage. if you live by the water, you are going to have those things more actively around you, and that terrifies me. I want acreage, I want a pond, I want deer. 
No, dearest, you go go get them somewhere else. I will. You don't buy. We're not doing that. I, I don't know. Buy any dealer? I'm not no, buyer. like buy a place somewhere. I already that, there's to a you. dead one on the road like yesterday, it. right out here in front of our house. That's we don't have sad. to go far to have deer. That's I don't know what we're gonna do. We'll do something. <sighs> anyway, it was great having y'all on tonight <laughs> and being in person, sort of. You know what I mean, in person, live, because we haven't been able to do that in a while. We've been very busy and on the road or on plane or on whatever, so it's been crazy. Yeah, but crazy fun. It's been a really great week, and now it's like today was we just kind of chill. Like we're so, I'm at least me, I'm exhausted from everything, and I just wanted to chill today. So, yeah. Hey, Dawn. Hi, Dawn. I actually had a question for her, didn't we? Uh, do, do you? I don't know. Oh, hats. Oh, we were can, talking about embroidering. Can you embroider a hat? Yeah, and I was like, I don't know if she could do that with her machine because it's like the shape of a hat, like to put it in the machine. It's probably difficult. I don't know. I'll message you. But thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Okay, so um, we had our collagen. So if you haven't had yours, here's your reminder to go take it. And, and if you never had it, go to college, couple, the college and couple yes. com. get you a 10% off coupon code and order some. Not 10%. It's $10. $10 that's what I meant. Off coupon. $10, which is better than yes. 10%. Plus, we have tons of deals going on right now to get in the business. She can't and do that. Zero enrollments yes. happening. You can? Yes. Oh, girl. We, go, mm -hmm, we need you. So, we have a lot of deals going on with zero enrollments for some packages, special deals, and stuff like that. So, definitely. Come be a part of this. Come have fun with us because we do fun things. If travel is maybe one of your love languages, you should come. You should come join. And we'll talk to you all about it. Yep, we're going to Mexico. If having a jeep and riding wherever beach, deer lease, lake, I don't know. That's my wherever favorite you part. Go, we can do that too. We love it. It's fun. That's my favorite part. Is the jeeps. <laughs> and we're going to Mexico in May. Yeah, we're gonna go. You're too late to go with us on that one, but you can Sorry. go with us on the next one. But there will be another trip, and you can qualify for that one later. We're going to Puerto Varta. No. Puerto I'm not going to correct Puerto you. I get in trouble for correcting you, and I ain't even corrected you. Oh, man. Hold on. Which part did I do wrong? Uh, Mexico. Uh, Just say Mexico. No. Puerto, Puerto Varta. I can't do it now at all. I was trying. <laughs> Pretzel Velveeta. Shut up. <laughs> we'll see you Puerto Varta. Puerto Varta. That's very good. Puerto. Puerto. Damn. Why do I want to have an A at the end of that? It sounds better. Puerto Varta. It's A and A, but it's Puerto Varta. Anyway, we're going on this fabulous trip on beautiful beaches. I can't wait. It's going to be great. It's going to be fun. Yay! All right. That's it. Pretzel Velveeta. Shut up. It's going to be fun. <laughs> I don't have to bring you. I can choose anyone for a plus one. You sure could. And I got lots of friends you in this. Sure could. <laughs> I got lots of friends in this company that would love to be my plus one. Have fun. You better be quiet. You're gonna lose your spot. They go, they gonna bring you back real fast. They gonna no, shoot they you aren't. Home. Uh uh. I have like five people in mind right now. You got five friends in this business? No, I have more. I have five people I know would say yes to me if I asked them to go. Yeah. So you better chill. Look, Lewis wants to go with me, so you can stay home. See. Awesome. I can do that. I can go have a girls weekend at the beach in Mexico. Yeah. Or you Lewis. Go. You can go hang out with Lewis and go, go shoot some stuff. I think Lewis and that? his wife needs to sign up and come with us on the next one. Well, you know. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Kelly. See, Esther will go. <laughs> well, hey, we should talk. Yeah, yeah. we should. Okay, we're going to go. Bye, y'all. Oh. Have a good Friday night. <laughs> I saw that, Dawn. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> This is a trade for hats. Trade for hats, huh? Okay. Trade collagen? Is that what you're talking about? You're supposed to go to Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. Um, right. I'll message you, Don. Bye, everybody. Bye.